Okay, time for another quick sewing machine video. I don't know if you can tell what I have here. You might be able to see the name on the motor. It's a uh, made in Japan Sears Kenmore sewing machine. As you can see, it's all metal. I'm not 100% sure. These markings on here, the J with the A4 and the C4. I'm not sure, I think Janome was actually making these early 158 series sewing machines for, for uh, Sears Kenmore. I like this machine, I got it. Uh, very simple fix, there was just a loose screw on the reverse lever. Otherwise the machine was not used or overused. I like the fact that I don't know if you can see in here, you've got a 1.2 amp motor on this machine. Come on, focus. Right there. Then what you have is a drive belt that goes up into another, here we go, into another pulley back there, which goes to a, a different size uh, pulley and then up to the hand wheel. That is pretty much like having a built-in gear reduction and that's probably why these machines will sew through many layers of denim without a problem. Let me see if I can without having a train wreck here get the machine tipped back up. This is uh, these are all let's see if we can show that quick um, the 158 for 1400 series made in Japan the the body of the machine is uh, cast aluminum um, there are no plastic gears to worry about in this one it's got the it shows the different stitches you can do right here on this dial this little tab this is the reverse lever the person apparently gave up on this machine Probably didn't want to take it in to get it serviced because that cost money obviously. Simple fix. Tighten the screw that went to the reverse lever. Boom. 100% working perfectly. So I did take the time to uh, take all the covers off obviously. Clean up the machine. Oil it. Check it out. Clean this area here where all your mechanical moving parts are. Nice thing about this one is they, we, we're finally at the point where we have the, or, uh, the metal cam stack right in here in the back of the machine. Just uses a simple following lever here to follow these cams to do the different stitches. Machine is super clean inside, really nice looking machine. Heavy duty, all metal. Uh, really simple to use. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, another thing I like about these is uh, you're not you don't you're not intended to put this much under the foot. The purpose of this is just to get things in and out from under your needle, because when you're sewing, if you stack up, let's say this much material under there, well, as you sew, this foot still has to be able to do this little movement here when it's stitching, because your feed dogs are coming up and pulling the material back. But this will easily go through, uh, let's see what I got here. This will easily go through like on these these jeans here where you've got this thick edge where the all the layers come together. This will easily just cruise right through that without a problem. So, yeah, and then I also have a, uh, made up this little little <coughs> excuse me sample here of all the stitches the machine will do and uh, the wires to the foot pedal are in good condition and everything I'll put the cover back on that just snaps on you got your bob and winder right here on top hand wheel right here your release here to release the hand wheel to wind your bob and tighten it back up Nice little machine. Hopefully I haven't been too shaky here. I do have the uh, the top of the case. So this one's going to come. It's a tabletop model. Comes with the top or the carrying case. 
uses regular standard needles and a class 15 bobbin. All right. Thanks for watching. Okay, I've got the Kenmore 158 series made in Japan set up here. I thought I would probably, sorry about the sniffles. I thought I would just run a little video of it uh, actually sewing. So everybody always wants to know how much can I get under that foot? How many layers can I sew through? Seems like everybody asks that question. So uh, let's see, I'm going to fold up this piece of denim. So we have four layers. I don't know if uh, people are sewing through more than that if they have to, but I'll bury the needle. Size 14 needle, text 40 thread, just uh, basic sewing thread. I, I'm running it off a cone just because when you go through a lot of thread, you don't buy those little spools. And uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to have any problem going through four layers of denim. just uh, this machine has all these different stitches here just by turning a few dials you can set it up to do whatever you need to do and uh, let me see what do I want to do I think I want to do a zigzag we'll see how she zigzags through this denim Got to back it up, of course. All right. So the machine's been all gone through, working good. Now you can see you got to. If I get my extra thread out of the way, you got a good stitch on the back. Pulled it up nice and tight in here. I've got the tension set on five. And yeah, there it is. All right. Thanks for watching.